Well, first of all, no filter. You just qualified for the Olympic Games. How do you feel? Uh, what's going through your mind right now? This is amazing. I mean, this is my first year as a senior, and this is just my second competition as a senior. So to come into the senior category and just do this is just beyond me. So much, you know, so much hard work goes into this year, even if it's your first year as a senior, all your training, all your dedication, it comes down. Now it's true. You know, you're going to the Olympics. Can, can you express, you know, the feeling, the hard work, the, 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 the dedication, all, all coming to this moment? I don't have any words. I just, it's, I'm still in shock. I just finished my match two minutes ago and it's just surreal still. Can you walk us through a little bit about your day of competition, first fight, second fight, disqualifying match from your perspective? You know, the, the, the hardest part, the, maybe the, the opponents, the round, a special moment in your mind? It was a long day. I had three fights. It was a long day for three fights. And it was three, three tough fights. I had to work for all three of them. My first fight was against a, a friend uh, from, from the refugee Taekwondo team. And then my second fight was against Moldova, and then obviously my final against France. In three tough fights, I came in with 100% focus to each one. What do you think in this type of uh, environment, for this type of competition, you know, it's not like, uh, oh, gold, silver. No, it's win or go home, you know. What changes, you know, as you approach a competition like that? Uh, is it different, you know? What do you focus yeah, on? Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's... Uh... You know, I approach. I try to approach it the same way I do every competition because you have to go in and you have to fight match after match and you have to win each match either way. But this was a bit different because there's that main goal. It's kind of weird to think all I have to do is win semifinals and I'm qualified for Olympics. But it was a little, a little weird feeling, but I was able to go out there and do what I had to do. I love it. And especially coming from a special year, you know, like the lockdown, this event was supposed to happen a year ago. So maybe it worked in your favor, as you say, because now you're you in the in the in the new scene. Uh, how were you able to, you know, deal with that uh, lockdown and trying to see, you know, the uncertainties of when this uh, event is going to happen? How did you manage to keep full physically and mentally focused and, and ready, of course, for today? Well, this was actually... I was still a junior last year and I was supposed to, I was planning on going to junior world championships so this wasn't even in the picture for me at the current 2020 last year but lucky enough I mean lucky but unlucky because it was a bad situation but for me I got a bit of a good good benefit out of it because I was able to compete at this event and qualify for the Olympics Perfect I'll I'll let John ask you a couple couple of questions as well Sure I just want to say of course congratulations thank you what a, what a feeling it must be but also just to expand on that, because as a junior, there was a lot of uncertainty. The junior worlds are going to happen. They're not going to happen. You're yeah. now going to the Olympic Games. Yeah. It's a big, big step up. How did that, did you think about that at all? Or did you just focus on the opponents? Um, I mean, obviously, I can't get the thought of my head that thought out of my head that if I win this competition or make it to the, the top two, I'm going to the Olympics. So it was a big thought on my mind, but... I was a little disappointed last year that I wasn't able to go to the Junior World Championships, but I got a, I got a bigger prize. <laughs> you, did, you did indeed. And I was going to ask you, you maybe not had time yet. You just said you're just, you know, full of adrenaline. It's still surreal. What's the first phone call that you're going to make? Well, it would be to my, my brother and father because they're the two biggest supporters. My brother's my training partner. My dad's my trainer. So it would be to them, but lucky, I'm lucky enough to have them here with me. You want to give them a little shout out, give them some thanks. They're yeah. there looking at you. You can bring them on the camera, bring them in. Let's go. Thank you guys of all your hard work. Appreciate it. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Short but sweet. And I have one more question for you. You know, like you have like 80 days to prepare for, for Tokyo. How are you going to approach that to try to optimize that time to make sure that you're ready? You know, like some, so many people say, you know, it's, it's an experienced thing, but you proved today and the guy that you fought in the semifinal is also a very young athlete. So you proved that young athletes can come out and perform. What are you going to focus from now until then to really optimize your chances? Your well, chances? I mean, what I've been doing so far, has been working well for me, so I'm just going to continue training hard, and I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to compete in the Olympics this year. <clears throat> Perfect. Hey, man, thank you so much, thank uh, you and we'll see you in, uh, in the Olympics. Thank you.